Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we are reviewing the Logitech G502 Hero Edition gaming mouse. So this is the mouse. It has a pretty long braided cable. I don't know if you can see from the image. Uh, let me just bring it closer. I'm also using with uh, mouse bungee. This is a, a, a Rokat Apuri because I don't want my mouse to get tangled while I'm gaming. So I want to have everything perfect. Uh, one of the coolest things that you can uh, see in a mouse. I mean, for me, this is really important. You can see the screw wheel. Now it moves from one position to another and you have this little button here. Then you can move it uh, freely. So it has two position. One is step by step. And one is freely. So you can move it as you wish. It also has uh, several buttons. One, two, three. And you can see over here we have four, five, six. seven, eight over here. I don't know if you can understand it. Also, you have here a little uh, button for changing your uh, DPI. Also, um, you have these LED LEDs over here and also this one. This is all uh, changeable from the app, which I'm gonna show you in a few seconds. But uh, besides this, what was also included in the box, let me just show you really fast. Of course, you've got uh, instruction. You have a pretty big G if you want to tape it somewhere, keep playing. Uh, yeah, but you got this little, let me pointed the right way this little box which comes with uh, several weights so you have here one two three four five weights off can you see it if you tool focus 3.6 grams let me see if i can make it focus 3.6 grams as i was saying okay let's get back so you can grab all this and if you find the mouse is really easy for really uh, let's say too easy for your hand and you want it to be a little heavier then you just apply weights and yeah, this is not the correct one you can put it like this or you can put it like this or you can put it everywhere you want it has different positions like this so because it has five Weights, you can put them wherever you want. And then you just put the back cover like this. And that's it. This is the mouse. Um, of course, the LEDs are connected right now and are synchronized between them. So uh, that's why they are also on the same color. And uh, I think this is pretty much the outside of the mouse and the buttons. Um, let's move on to the application. So, 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 so. Okay, now let's move on to the Logitech G Hub, the main application for your G502 Hero. So, you can see here you have lighting because you have primary and you have a logo. This is the primary, this is the logo. Uh, right now, as you can see, these are synced because you can sync them, you can put the rate, you can put the brightness. Um, yeah, for each of them, um, you can do whatever you want with this. I'm not gonna go into that too deep. Also, every button is custom customizable everything you can set it to do macros if you want system you want to do something with your mouse 
uh, also actions everything you can set i mean it is also you can see here toggle streaming toggle recording for some new for some of the application it is already predefined and you can just uh, set your buttons as you would need and also you have here the option for sensitivity um dpi speeds 124 200 you can see all them here i don't know why i'm counting them you can change it manually from 100 to you guessed but i don't suggest i mean i'm using for desktop um 3150 and also if you go back here the active profile you have a desktop and you have an application for example in my case i'm playing two games uh, regularly which is dota 2 and apex and you can see the sensitivity for each of them yeah and if you want you can go here to hub settings my gear um, you have a lot of options here for everything you want but i want to show you something so we're gonna switch to apex and you can even uh, customize the lighting for a game for example if you want in a game to have uh, i don't know no lights then you can do that also you have here assignments um, this is for apex legends for example air is reload but you can customize all your buttons to make your game a lot more easier to play also for dota you have the same options i mean the options are they are taken from the game because you can see here these are the default keys that are assigned and you can assign them to your mouse buttons also um these are really good explained here everywhere you can just see dpi up dpi down if you want to change something uh, i'm using also for uh, apex and dota to 3200 because i'm still uh, getting used to the mouse i'm not really very comfortable with it i've been using it for like a week or so and i'm still trying to find the best combination for it so um, this was the full review of the Logitech G502. If you have any more questions, don't forget to um, drop a comment down below. And also, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to share it, uh, like it, and subscribe. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm already moving through the lighting zones, and you can sync, unsync, you can go to the logo. And also yeah i forgot to show you this one the effects of the lighting can be fixed can be cycle breathing screen sampler and you can put a sample or audio visualizer and also you got here pulse on base only you got a lot of settings i mean logitech is really uh, known for their customizable and for their peripherals for gaming and uh, for um, let's say working in general yeah but overall i can say that this is a really good mouse so if your mouse broke right now and you're in the market for a new one then i recommend you get this one uh, not only because of the scroll has several options but also for the uh handle for the shape of the mouse i mean it's really comfortable that you can put your thumb and rest right here the whole ergonomic of this zone this is really comfortable for me and i'm a guy with uh, let's say medium size hands not too big not too small and also these buttons you can click them uh, halfway you don't have to click them uh, all the way to the top so yeah I really enjoyed this one. So, thanks for watching. Bye.